when she calls, when she calls, when she calls, when she calls. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. With everything that's going on, I miss shooting and being in the studio and getting to collaborate with creative people. So I thought it'd be fun to just do it myself. If you've watched my old videos, you would have seen that I used to do these like short fashion films. And it's been a while since I've come up with my own creative concept. It's something that I really miss and something that I'm really passionate about. Before all this coronavirus went on, I tried reaching out to photographers to see if I could do a shoot like this but everyone was super busy and now with everything that's going on obviously doing a shoot is just not gonna happen I thought this be a great time for me to get creative and do it by myself the first step to doing a photo shoot is finding inspiration. One of my favorite places that I love finding inspiration on is Pinterest. I made a bunch of different boards. I have one for like mood, hair, makeup. Specifically for the mood board, I love just finding photos and pinning it on there and I can save it for future shoots. I also love looking at other magazines like Vogue, Vogue Korea I used to be obsessed with. I still am. I love all of their editorials and cover shoots. I feel like they always have the most creative editorials. I also really love finding inspiration just like in everyday life, like landscape, architecture. Sometimes I will just like drive past something that really inspired me and I could envision like a shoot in that location. So inspiration can really come from anything. This is the mood board that I came up with. It is a little bit edgy and high fashion but still pretty simple. As you can tell by the clothes, they're very like neutral, monochromatic, and then the makeup is very simple and clean. And to do this shoot, I actually ordered a white backdrop and a backdrop stand from Amazon because I really wanted to invest in this and like make it a really good shoot. Maybe it's a little excessive, but I'm sure it will be worth it in the end. I'm gonna go right into doing my makeup. Like I said, the makeup is pretty clean, natural, so I'm not doing anything crazy. That is the finished makeup look. It's just very natural and just kind of enhances my natural features. And then for my hair, I'm just gonna be wearing it natural pretty much for all of the looks. I wish I had a clothing rack for this, but I just laid everything out on my bed to show you guys. The first look is just this like dark green velvet suit. Underneath it, I'm gonna be pairing it with this black bandeau, and then I might do this chain necklace and then i'm also gonna have these fishnet tights kind of peeking out on the top of my trousers i got inspired by this picture thought it looked really cool and edgy and then the second look is going to be these biker shorts and then i'm also gonna pair this black bandeau underneath this as well and have it open i love this over shirt it's a tweed over shirt with pearl buttons it kind of reminds me of chanel and then i might do this gold chain necklace with this look too i don't know yet we'll see and then the last outfit was this black fitted tank top with these paper bag leather pants i pair it with this silver chain necklace that has like this cute lock toggle on it. I'm going to set everything up now and put up the backdrop. I'm doing this in my room so fortunately enough it does fit. I just don't know if I want to do it like against my closet or against this wall. I don't know yet. We'll see what works better. Finally got the stand to work. It was so hard to like have to put one side on and then go put on the other side because then the other side would just come off. So I finally figured out how to do it. It came with like these screws. So like all I had to do was just put one side in, screw it in first, so then it would stay in and then like kind of, you know, pivot my way to the other side and do the same thing. This is what it looks like right now. I have literally my wallet helping to hold this down, which is kind of ridiculous. But then I also have two clamps on each side to hold the backdrop so it doesn't keep rolling down. And that actually came with the stand. I have a board right there so that I can like step on that part and then I won't like puncture holes into the paper. So I'm in my first outfit right now. I actually just did a little run through of poses just to kind of test it out first before I like 
feel myself doing this because I don't know if this is really gonna work, but it's actually turning out pretty good. I found the easiest way to do this since I don't have like a self timer remote is to just leave it on record. So like basically I'm recording a video and I'm just gonna keep changing poses. And then when I go to my computer, I'm gonna screenshot the ones that were the best. That is honestly going to be the easiest way to do it. I really hope everything is focused because like I literally have to put an object where I'm gonna stand and like have it focus on that. Hopefully everything turns out okay. So I have on my second look now and it's just the same black bandeau from the first look with this tweed over shirt with pearl detailings, my black um, biker shorts, and then I decided to put this gold necklace with this look instead of the first look. I might also put in gold hoops as well, but we'll see. I ended up going without the hoops and then I parted my hair to the side for a different look. For the third look, I put my hair in a half up and did some variations of half body poses. I just finished my last look. I'm excited to see what the final photos look like. So obviously the next step is to edit them. So I will show you what I do. So first I open up the clips and kind of look through them and pause them where I want to screenshot them. Once I screenshot them, I'm going to bring them into photos on my MacBook and that is what I'll be using to edit them since I don't have Adobe Photoshop. So then I will crop them and edit the colors to how I like it. I'm 